this week we're looking at something called vulnerability. Now, vulnerability, uh, you will have noticed on these boards, sometimes you have different colours. And I think we've, I've had little murmurings of, you know, you're vulnerable or not, that kind of jazz. Uh, I've told you thus far to ignore it. Uh, that's because it was too complicated. And probably it will be too complicated for a short while, but you'll get used to it. So you'll notice that sometimes North South have red colours and East West have green. Sometimes North South have green and East West have red. Sometimes everyone has red. Sometimes for five boards and green. Everyone is green. That. So it varies. There is a pattern. You don't need to learn the pattern. There's some kind of way of memorising it. It's some kind of algorithm where there's. Oh, right. I don't know how it works. Basically, look at that and that tells you what's going on. Um, there is a pattern, though. The 16... There's a pattern. Um, so, when you are north-south or east-west, you want to look at these colours, because this affects the way you fit. The reason these affects the way you fit is because if you are vulnerable, or if you are not vulnerable, that's what green and red mean, um, it means you get penalised or rewarded, depending on whether you make a contract or not, depending on whether you're vulnerable. So vulnerability changes the scoring slightly, it's like a modifier. So the core to the scoring I've told you, game, not game, part score, slam, no trumps, major, minor, that all stays the same. But vulnerability modifies slightly depending on whether you make your contract or not. So if you like, it's an extra layer to the scoring. <coughs> so you have your core, which is we're in game, yay we get our game bonus, and then you go, oh, we'll be vulnerable, and that changes slightly the way that you get scored. So, to make it simple, uh, or to try and simplify it, simply put, uh, vulnerable means you are at a high risk, high reward <coughs> scenario. So, if you are vulnerable, you make more points if you make a game. You get an extra amount of points. If you don't make your contract, you lose more points. So, it's a risk reward thing being vulnerable. If you are vulnerable and you make your contract, if that contract is game or above, you will get extra points. If that contract is not game or above, you don't get extra points. And if you do not make your contract, you lose more points. Okay? You lose points at twice the rate when you're vulnerable as you do not vulnerable. So if you go one off vulnerable, that is 100, not 50. If you go two off or three off, it starts to get very expensive very quickly. However, on the flip side, if you make your game, you get extra points. So, how many extra? So, on the little thing, I'll just get them. Just realise I'm not giving you bidding boxes. On the uh, bidding box, you will notice. You will notice there are some bold and not bold numbers. You see that? Yeah. So, the bold numbers. I'll show you. That. <laughs> the uh, the bold numbers are if you're vulnerable, and the not bold numbers are if you're not. So when I first said, if you want a reminder you know, of the scoring, ignore all of those columns and just look at that one, is what I said. Now I want you to do the same, but I want you to look at the bold one that's equivalent, because now we've got two modifiers. There are extra X's and things, don't worry about that, so there's another layer. Um, what you will see is, for a making game in four halves, you get 420. So that's not surprising, because we've got four loss of 30 and 300, which is why I told you the game bonus was. Now, when you're vulnerable, you get an extra 200 on your game bonus. Just, just an extra reward for taking the risk of going for the game. So instead of getting 420, you get 620. Now, I'm not expecting you to memorise these numbers, <coughs> nor am I expecting you to know I get an extra 200, I'll go for it kind of thing, because this tells you. So if you're ever unsure of what score you made, assuming you made your contract, this will tell you. Okay? But just a little reflection, the difference between 420 and 620 is quite big. That's it. almost 50% on top. So it's quite a big difference when you're vulnerable. So if you make a vulnerable game, 600 odd, or a non-vulnerable game, 400 odd, there is a considerable difference there. Okay? Again, if you are not in game, if you are in some poxy park score, let's say two spades, if you make two spades, you just have to say more bricks, can't bother to go all the way around. If you make two spades, you get 110. If you're vulnerable, you get 110. No reward. Okay, so it's only when you're in game does the vulnerability matter, assuming you make your contract. With me? If you're in slam, you get an even bigger bonus for being vulnerable, and if you're in a grand slam, you get a colossal bonus for being vulnerable. Uh, but game's what we care about most. Um, now, if you go off on your 
in your contract, let's say you gamble for your game and instead of making your game you go one off. You will see there are two columns on here, that depends on whether you're vulnerable or not. You look on the back of the pass if you go on. So if you go one off, 50 is not vulnerable, 100 if you're vulnerable. 100 going two off if you're not vulnerable, 200 going two off if you're vulnerable. So it's linear, 50, 100, 150, 100, 200, 300. But you can see that's twice as expensive. So if you are vulnerable, it costs twice as much money to go off if you play mm -hmm. money. Um, but if you make your game, you get extras. So there's a, there's a bit of a balancing point here. What this does is it adds an extra layer of decision making to your bidding. Now, this should not affect whether you have an opening hand or not. It shouldn't come into play whether you wish to respond or not. When it does come into play is when you're making those fine decisions. Often you do two or three bids that seem fairly routine. And I don't want you to change that. I've got an opening hand, so I'm looking to bid. When you're thinking, should I stretch to go for that game or not, that's when this decision comes in. Or rather, they bid three clubs. Should I stretch to bid three hearts to stop them having clubs as trumps? Because I want to compete against them. Vulnerability is absolutely critical in competitive scenarios. When they bid something and you want to bid over them, vulnerability is absolutely an important part. Because if they are not vulnerable, they can bid aggressively, knowing if they go off, they don't really care. Whereas if they are vulnerable, they should, whether they actually do or not, they should be more cautious. And similarly the same for you. When you're not vulnerable, you can be more aggressive. And when you are vulnerable, you need to be more cautious.